Lil Webby and Boosie when you when you heard that they were linking up and and just heard them come out? What did you think about them? I like them. I like them like. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. What What do you think about like like when you <clears throat> when you look at Pimp C uh, and and you look at the birthing of uh, Lil Webby and Boosie? When you when you heard that they were linking up and and just heard them come out, what did you think about them? I like them. I like them. Like you know, the last memory I had of them, we was in Dallas. Okay. And I spoke with both of them. They you know maybe remember don't, but um, I was on my way to prison. Wow. I mean, so like and to see you know to see anything like they come anytime anybody. I mean, look at what Boosie doing, bro. You know, I don't know specifically what it is, but to come from a situation like that to where, you know, you got all of that that weight on you and then to be able to come back and, you know, from that in in that way and to be able to even help people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Webby, Webby. same same thing, man, same thing. To the sustainability, they're still here. To be still on on yeah. top too, they doing they, get, they, they like more, like know. people will show up. They just did some here recently. I think it was in Wichita, uh, uh, Falls, Texas. Man, right. selling <laughs> out like they doing shows. They you know they making ends meet. Who's kind of like that? Like even in Jackson, Mississippi, like that's his home. Shit, that he probably could go anywhere down there and lay his head, bro. They it's, love it. That's just the truth. Yeah, cause he actually lived down there at one point. You know, a wow. lot of stuff that was before. You know, just. To, what happened now just ancient history but yeah you know and so the kind of fan base he got man he shit he probably could be 109 setting it off you know yeah 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 he could be yeah for sure like okay so and i'm a music guy i love to hear the music come out right. i'm waiting uh what what can i expect from you this year on the music what what, um, what we gonna get man man i got um I got another single with Fiend that's hot. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to tell you some of the lyrics. What is it? It's called uh, UGK. What? Yeah, Fiend got the track. You know, he sent me the track. We trying, We got part of the video shot. But it's uh, it's really a, a lyrically acrobatic type song. Like, Fiend coming with it. Like, it's that authentic, you know. Oh, you know, he's yeah. really bringing it, like. <laughs> Like yeah. he bring it. Yeah, and then like, you know, like I say, it's that level. It's that level, like a psychology that you can put with it. You know, verbal soliloquies, double entendres. Killing. Shakespearean sonnets, like all of that stuff. In order to be a true lyricist, bro, you have to be a smart individual, intelligent individual. You can't be no dummy. No. Like, you got to give a person an idea for every word that you say. Even if you Neanderthalic and don't know many words, the gift of what God give you, it has a certain rhythm and account to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. man. So, and, and when did that come? When can we when can we expect it? I don't know. Uh, soon, man. I got I also got an EP with Fiend. I just finished the album, my first album, man, because like, I was always doing stuff with other people. It's, uh, it's called The Lives and Times of Freddie Barlow, Whoa. an American Slave. I got like 13 songs on there. 14, really. I'm trying to get one clear, a couple clear. But um, yeah, man, all bangers. All you know bangers. All bangers tested. You know what I mean? And yeah, it, it, you know, it's a good thing. And then like more so than not, I'm kind of doing like a Dr. Dre present because like I produced and wrote most of the songs. Like I'm, you know, kind of showcasing my wife, who is also my artist. And like yeah, yeah, she yeah. can really like, she can sing, sing the paint yes. off the walls. And so and her lyricism. So I got her to do like four different genres of music. She has a blues song, rap song, the uh, pop culture, Christina Aguilera type of stuff. And so to show the different ranges that she's in, but to show the production skill. I also got a lot of production from Jay Super, uh, Fiend. Shout out to Bun. He on the album on the free shots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we just recently got distribution. Like on a, really? on a broader scale. Yeah, and so... That that gives the the music the validity that it needs to be casted out enough to, for more people to, you know, judge it good or bad. So wow, you you like like when you look at where you came from and when you guys first was doing uh, the, the 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 super tight or you, you, the live from the pen thing, you 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 just heard that come out. You were locked up at that time, right? right? But 
to where we're at now. Back then, they were fighting to say, hey, man, I need to get signed. I want Now it's more of an independent grind, right? Like, right. like what, what, what's the difference in it that you see in just how you would lay a project out, how you would launch a project? Well, and the difference is in the money. Like, when I was younger, like, the last payment I got for a verse was $10,000. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Back then. That was unheard of. But now, you know, it's a lot. You know, they want you to pay to come to be on a show when you usually should be being paid to do a mm. show. Those mm-hmm. kind of things. Like, I don't understand. So <laughs> That's crazy. You know, it's the, the world is changing. It got faster. But, like, sometimes your fast can be too slow. Yeah. See what I'm saying? And, like, we, we adjudicate things based on the conceptualization of time. And that's not fair to you or anybody you love because time is just a calculation of another human man's mind. Wow. So if it's, that's the case, then in essence, you're a prison. Your ideological conceptualization should be outside of time. Uh, uh. God intended on your heart to help people. Wow. You see? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.